I set myself a challenge. I'm going to make the best possible starter based video, and it's up to you to decide if I did it or not. But if you want to skip ahead to the tutorial, there'll be a timestamp up on screen right now. But if you're interested, I'm going to show you a quick little story of how I made it. I started on February 28th, when I had the idea. I spent a couple of hours watching videos, getting an idea of what people want, and then I had a big brain idea. Why not ask the people who will be building it what they prefer? So I went and I asked 15 random builders these three questions. What's something you look for in a building tutorial? Like what's something that makes it super good or useful? And then number two was if you wanted to make a starter base, what would it be? A nice looking one or more of a functional one? And finally, out of 10, one being a beginner, 10 being Hermitcraft level, what would you put yourself at? And after getting all 15 answers from the builders, I was able to come up with a basic idea, but now I needed to understand what block were the best for people to use. So I spawned in 20 different worlds and after that unsurprisingly the most common block was oak wood. So with all of this information in mind I set out to make the best possible starter base and I struggled. For a couple of days I tossed around a few ideas tried to come up with some stuff but it just wasn't hitting the mark. So I went back to my pictures of older builds that I had and then I got a little bit of inspiration but nothing solid. Then one day, as I was looking through my photos, I found it. This photo right here was going to be the basis of the build that I will be showing you later on. Now, from the information I got from all the builders, this had to follow the criteria of these things. One, it has to be easy to make. Two, as cheap as possible. Three, looks good, but it's not too complicated. Four, it can be expanded later if you want to make this a full-on base. Five, it also has to have some productivity to it, farms and such. And six, make it as fast as possible. Don't waste time, get them the base they want as fast as possible. So with those traits laid out before me, I set to work making a replica of the build and then adding all of these bits of information to it to create this. So there's all the information I have to give. You've just reached the tutorial now, so if you want, you can watch it. If not, you can skip to the end where I'm going to show you how I compiled all of these traits into the build. If you're going to do the tutorial, best of luck to you, and if not, I'll see you at the list. Okay, I'm going to try and make this tutorial as easy and as fast as possible for you guys. All you have to do is copy what I'm doing on screen and what I'm saying in the video. Feel free to pause if you need it. And on screen right now will be the list of blocks you'll need for the exterior and the interior. The interior is going to be optional. You can do whatever you want in there or you can copy what I did. It's just a basic interior, but it's up to you. What you see on screen right now is the basic shape of the build. The purple blocks are for the pillars and the black is just the distance between them. You should copy what you see on screen right now. And then once you've done that, we'll move on to building the frame. For the first part, it's going to be super simple. Just copy what I'm doing on screen right now and then duplicate that on the other side. Okay, to kick it off, we're going to start by doing the arches. Now, this is very basic. Just follow what I'm doing on screen and then copy it on the other side. All right, now for the walls, just again, follow what I do. Make sure you pay attention to where I put the windows and doors. Alright, now we're going to detail the archways. Now for the archways, you're just going to outline the back of it with andesite, and then behind that andesite, you're going to put some white concrete. And then on these little ones, you're going to use andesite stairs, and then behind them, you're going to use white concrete again. And then now you just have to repeat for the rest of them. Also, make sure you filled in all the walls on the sides there so nothing looks out of place.
Now, sadly, in this render, it was messed up a lot for some reason. I don't know why, so I'm just going to correct you. On the top right of the build there, that stair is supposed to be just like the one on the left. And on the left side where there's nothing, there's actually supposed to be a stair like on the right. I know it's complicated, but something happened with the render and I couldn't fix it. So there you go. Then from there on, it's just a bunch of trapdoor and stair placing. Again, pause if you need to. Okay, for the roof, you're going to use whatever kind of wool you want. I'm using gray, but it's up to you. And you're going to start by going one block off of the wall. And then at the top, you're going to go three blocks off the wall. And then at the second block down from the top, you're going to go two. And then you're going to do that all the way around the build. On the larger arches, you're going to repeat that two block and three block at the top pattern. And then, yeah, from there, you just copy what I do. Okay, now for the roof, you're just going to bring two lines in towards the top there, like on screen. Make sure you bring them all up to the level they need to be. And then from there, you're just going to fill in the wool. 
try and stay one block behind the block that's already in front of it, and then yeah, just follow the shape of the roof. Feel free to reshape the roof if it doesn't look good to you. Oh, and make sure you don't forget anything. Now again, the interior is optional. It's up to you if you want to use my design or not. If you do, well, you can just watch what I'm doing right now. Again, feel free to pause if you need to. Okay, so going down the secret door, you're going to be going into your basement full of all the necessary things you need for survival. You're going to want to make this 10 blocks wide, 18 blocks long. And then just follow along with what I do. Now this part is going to be going very fast, so if you need to, go ahead and pause. And make sure you don't be an idiot like me and leave torches or anything inside the portal when you try to light it. Okay, so I thought I'd add a little hidden room to the brewing area, and on screen right now should be a example of how to build the door. Just follow along with what I do. Now make sure you're building this behind the brewing area like you'll see on screen in just a second. Now feel free to make whatever you want in that secret base area, it's up to you, I just did a quick little design. Now I'm going to be adding extra detail to all the areas, you don't have to do this if you don't want to, but it's a nice little touch. Ha 
And make sure you add some lighting. And if you want to hide the secret area even better, you can put some slabs like I did here. And yeah, that's the interior done. Now, if you're curious how I could implement all of those traits into the build, I'll explain it here. For productivity, I wanted farms and animals outside for a food source and such. For the base, I wanted it nice and easy using common blocks people spawn with. Easy to get blocks. Now, for the build off the design part, I want to make it so you could uh, make a city or a town of these things. You can build a bunch of them together, like a little village, it's up to you. And I want to make it as easy as possible for the benefit of not wasting time and such. That way you can get it done as soon as possible. And yeah, there you go, that's the tutorial done. Let me know if you guys like this mix mash of tutorial and storytelling. And yeah, enjoy your base. Also, comment down below what other tutorials you guys would like to see me make. I'd be willing to do almost anything. And yeah, have a great day, guys. Much love.